So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum. So, today uh, we'll be learning about these uh, the uh, simulation of uh, tunnel construction in Fluxy software. So, what we will learn in this video is how we basically construct the tunnel in the uh, using the Fluxy software, and then we will analyze the settlement uh, caused by the tunnel construction. So, before starting the video. Uh, uh, I will request you all to please watch the video online rather than downloading the video. And secondly, uh, I'll, uh, those who haven't installed the Fluxy software, uh, I have given the uh, downloading link of the software in the description box. Also, the handouts uh, link is given in the description box so you can check it out. So let's start uh, a video. Uh, I'll be a little bit quick to uh, to. Uh, end the video in a short time uh, so let's start with an example and we will discuss some technical details uh, what will be our problem so firstly there is a little bit uh, uh, introduction uh, Pluxis has special facilities to uh, for the generation of circular and non-circular tunnels in this chapter the construction of shield tunnel in medium soft soil and the influence on a Pile foundation is considered. So this is uh, what we will do. Basically, a shield tunnel is constructed by excavating soil at the front of a tunnel boring machine (TBM) and installing a tunnel lining behind it. So this all will learn about how we uh, uh, how we do the uh, tunnel lining in the Fluxy software. In this procedure, the soil is generally over excavated, which means that the cross sectional area coupled uh, co occupied by the final tunnel lining is always less than the excavated soil area all the measures are taken to fill up and so on so this is the problem we'll be modeling uh, uh, first we'll try to understand this is the building see this is the building which will be simulated using the uh, plate element and these are end-to-end -end anchors end-to-end -end anchors have been used for the simulation of oils in this case so see uh, we can use any uh, uh, mode like uh, we can use plate element, we can use end to end anchors as well uh, for the simulation of structural element. So, how we basically simulate the structural element uh, uh, with the plate element or anchors uh, or end to end anchors, uh, this will be discussed in the next video. Thus, how we basically convert the concrete or reinforced properties into the plate element properties. So, uh, this will be discussed in the uh, coming video as well. So here are pile two. Uh, this is the uh, fine sand and this is the soft clay. Uh, the pile has been inserted from the soft clay to this fine sand. Uh, and there will be one uh, one more thing here. There will be an uh, increase in stiffness of the soil with the depth uh, in that case because of the installation of the pile in the soft soil. So there is there will be uh, some uh, increment of stiffness of the soil uh, with the depth. So then here is the deep clay and then the deep sound, uh, sand. Here is the tunnel. Uh, right half of the cross section is shown in here. Uh, these are the geometries of uh, the uh, this uh, soil stratigraphy. So here you can see uh, that 3 plus 10, 13, 13 meter of the soft soil clay layer and then 2 meter of the fine sand and then uh, 5 meter is deep clay and 5 meter is the deep sand. So total is 25 meter vertical and 30 meter is the horizontal. So all these uh, information is given here. I'll be giving the handouts in the uh, in the uh, description box so you can check this out further. So I'll be quickly move towards the process software for the simulation. So uh, Yes, we'll start with a new project. Okay, now here I will uh, use the settlement caused by a tunnel. The title of my project is so I'll be using plane strain model and 50 noded element. Now, the dimension I'll not be changing any dimension, just I will change the spacing of 1 to 0.5 uh, just to make uh, easier uh, for the drawing of the geometry uh, now uh, as i told you that our geometry is 30 meter horizontal 30 meter like here it's 30 meter here and 25 meter vertical so here 
yes here 25 meter then we'll move in this direction now we'll join here right click and the command will be undo now i'll have to draw the soil stratigraphy like the soil layers and uh, here you can see the uh, 30 meter 30 meter is the soft clay layer and then the three meter from the ground surface is the water table level so now i'll go to the geometry line and then from here 25 to uh, 13 this is 10 and then here 13 because two units are equal to one meter here so this is 10 now here is 13 yes 13 will be somewhat here sorry it is uh, outside somewhere outside yes here now you can see yes this is 13 meter of soft soil layer then there is 2 meter from there to there this is 2 meter every 2 divisions are equals to 1 meter of my okay again yes here this is the fine sand layer which is considered as the foundation for the piling then 5 meter of the deep clay here so yes here now what I'll do is to simulate the uh, building uh, with the plate element then the pile to with the plate element so I'll go and we'll click here the plate element is used now you can see the dimensions uh, from 5 to 15 there is 10 meter width of the building yes right click now again i will select the plate element here uh, you can see in the problem it's one meter here pile two is of one meter length from this uh, coordinate which is uh, uh, five in the horizontal and uh, here you can see uh, the uh, y axis uh, y uh, coordinate as well so it is uh, one meter and one meter here so i will click this right below this point it is one meter down one meter is equals to two division so here and uh, again here as well pi two is simulated here by yes now uh the piles have been simulated uses using end-to-end -end anchors. So I will select this point node for uh, node to node anchor. Sorry. So we'll start from here, top of the pile two, and we'll connect it with the building. Yes. Again, I will select it, and we'll move from this to this, and we'll right click. Now, uh, what I will do is. Uh, now we will define the standard fixities as I earlier uh, explained the purpose of this standard fixities and the meaning of these vertical two lines and the uh, these uh, fixed uh, here. So I have explained these uh, the purpose of these uh, uh, standard fixities. If you want to more uh, know them in more detail, you can visit uh, my channel and you can watch the previous videos as well. So now uh, next step is to define the material properties. What are the material properties? Here the material properties have been given. This is the general introduction about this problem. You can read it by your own. So these are the material properties. See, uh, first is the soft soil clay, and molecular model is used. Drain condition is unsaturated unit unit weight is 15, 18. All the properties are given over here. Uh, what I'll do, I have already defined these properties and have saved in the proxies. I'll not uh, enter individual properties. I have given the notes in the description. If you want to practice, you can uh, check these uh, 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 property values as well. So what I'll do here, I'll go to the material properties. Now see here, uh, if you want to define the new material, you can click over here, but I don't want to. No, I will click global. I have already saved here. So you can do, this is lesson six, click and you will click here then here comes the lesson six clay properties now lesson six deep clay 
then uh, I will click this one, deep set, and then set. Now, hide global. If you have uh, defined a new material property and you want to save it for future use, you just click here and uh, then click global. If you will click this point, this will be transferred to this uh, section and you will be able to use it in your future. So I have defined all these properties already. So if you want to see further that clay properties, just click edit. Now you can see the you can compare these values with these and these are the same values here uh, you can see here the all these properties are the same so now i will assign the properties clay here deep clay here and deep sand here and sand here now the properties have been assigned soil properties have been assigned now i'll go to the plate element similarly like uh, i will click plates now i will go to the global i have already defined these properties lesson six this one this one file two this one so high global so if you want to define or check the properties here the properties are given these are the material properties of the plates like lining file to building building here and these are the properties you can use to define as well so now uh, foundation here stands for the building basically this building has been here. so if i want to edit now let me edit it so i will i will just name it as building so these are basically the building properties you can see here as well so okay now building will be uh, Tracked and you can see when it gets read it means your properties have been assigned now lining will not be uh, assigned uh, at the moment because we haven't defined the uh, uh, tunnel cross section so, so pile two properties here yes because it has been simulated using the plate element now the properties of the plate have been uh, defined uh, now we'll go to the anchor Anchors and when anchors again, I will go to global and lesson six. Here, uh, the properties of the anchors are given over here. Now, what I will do is to just will check to assign these properties. Now, okay, the properties of uh, soil layers and uh, anchors plate and uh, pile two has been assigned now i will define the tunnel how we basically define the tunnel uh, here you will click the uh, this module and you can see this dialog box now uh, the we will have to see that what are the properties of the tunnel so you can see here the tunnel diameter is basically five meter and uh, it is located at the depth of, depth of 20 meter uh, soil profile indicates four distinct layers. The upper 30 meter consists of the soft soil layer, and uh, all the information is given over here. So, uh, 5 meter is the diameter. So, firstly, we'll select the right, uh, this is half tunnel right section. So, I will click this one. Now, uh, what I'll do is there is radius. So, we have radius 2.5 meter as the diameter is 5 meter. And you will have to set the angle over which it extends basically so this section extends to 90 angle will be set at 90 now make sure these points should be selected shall at interface because uh, uh, if you haven't selected this uh, then there will be no concrete lining and you must have interface uh, concrete lining with the soil so that is why uh, this should be uh, selected so i will click this one the other portion of the uh, cross section now again it is 2.5 um, radius is already selected now i will select here 90 degree and will click ok now i'll have to define the point where it will be the one now i will click this point because it is 20 meter from the ground surface low so i will click this and uh, it will be defined now right click and the command will be undo now 
next step is to define the properties of concrete lining. So I will go here again. Concrete lining has been uh, defined or simulated using the plate element. So here the concrete lining will drag this to assign these properties. Now the properties have been assigned. Okay. So the next step is to generate the mesh. Now it's very simple. We have done with the modeling. Now we'll have to generate the uh, mesh. So I will click over here. The no, you can see the mesh is being generated. Update. No initial conditions have been defined for water. Water unit weight is okay. No, see, there is a, a groundwater table at our fractic surface is at three meter below the uh, ground surface. So I will just click there. Yes, there. Here, yes, three meter lies over here because two units are equal to one meter. So three meter will lie over here. Very carefully, you will have to draw the phatic surface. Now the phatic surface has been dropped. Now you will have to generate uh, water pressure. We'll click over here. The water pressure is being generated. We'll click update. And now I'll have to switch to define the initial uh, generate the initial stresses. So see uh, before generating the initial stresses, make sure. The uh, the building uh, uh, piles which, and uh, pile toe and the concrete line should be deactivated because initially there was no um, uh, building or piles or, con uh, or tunnel construction. So there uh, therefore to generate the initial stresses, this should be deactivated. So I will click over here. Jackie's model will be applicable. I have explained this model as well. So we'll click OK. No update and then start the calculation process. Now the calculation is started. Save. Now here comes the calculation phase. I will click OK. Now for the first phase, so before uh, going towards the calculation or starting the calculation, let me uh, clarify something. Uh, there will be three calculation phase. Phase one is uh, there will be uh, will activate uh, the uh, anchors, building and toe plates. Uh, will use the plastic uh, calculation and state construction, and then phase two will be about the. Uh, uh, tunnel lining uh, activation then there will be construction of tunnel lining and we'll do the process like so then phase 3 will be there will be some contraction due to debarking and tunnel lining so we'll apply 2% construction so let's start with the calculation phase how this will apply we'll go to the parameter go to the define now in the first calculation phase we'll define or activate the building so we see building is being constructed in the first phase okay sorry sometimes it happens when it gets dark it means it has been selected yes pile toes no sorry Now, the first phase is being defined. We'll go to update. Now, we'll go to the next. And here we'll select the plastic analysis parameters. Now, we will uh, reset displacement to zero. We don't want the previous displacement interruption. So, that is why we have selected the reset displacement to zero. Uh, uh, the selecting this uh, uh, reset displacement to zero, uh, the purpose is basically we don't want the uh, influence of previous displacement we, we want to start from the zero or this phase involves the zero uh, uh, will start from the zero displacement so we'll go to the define now we want the uh, want to activate the tunnel uh, lining we have activated it now uh, the next step is to move towards the uh, water pressure because we want that uh, there is uh, Dewatering and there is no water uh, present in the tunnel. 
So to model this, we have switched to uh, this mode. Now here you can see that click the switch to proceed to the water pressure mode. Click the selection button and select both soil clusters inside the tunnel simultaneously using. So what we will do is you can see I will click shift and then select these two both clusters and will double click if i double click then i will uh, there will be cluster pore pressure distribution as i earlier told you there is no pore water pressure uh, present uh, as the tunnel has been uh, constructed so we will click cluster dry okay then uh, we'll generate the uh, water pressure okay and you can see uh, here there is no pore water pressure generation so it shows that uh, tunnel construction has uh, gone through the dewatering process so okay there is no water update no due to this phase and due to the dewatering or tunnel uh, lining construction there is some contraction so to more, uh, model this contraction or uh, what we'll do we'll apply the we'll apply this uh, there will be some con contraction to the uh, dewatering internal lining construction so apply 2 per percent contraction so we have defined the phase 3 parameters define now a uh, simple method uh, we'll have to do is I will click this point uh, the center of the tunnel double click and here the contraction increment is open now we'll click 2 and we'll click ok so update now we'll have to define the points for the curves click over here we'll click these points you can select any point where you want the uh, low displacement curve or something like that so calculate okay now the calculation phase is started see uh, we only uh, want the settlement caused by the tunnel construction so we'll see the effect of this so we'll select uh, click the control button and click these two phases uh, because we are concerned about the settlement caused by the construction of the tunnel so we'll go to the output and uh, here you can see the yes here you can see the displacement has been caused by the uh, construction of the tunnel so if you want to analyze the readings you can go to this table value and you will go to the coordinates like if I click over here and the displacement is uh, uh, if I go to the vertical tile vertically and uh, you will have to see what are the coordinates of these points and then you will see the displacement in the x direction and then the y direction as well so you can see the displacement in the y direction as well so you will have to carefully select the uh, coordinates and you will observe the how much settlement has been caused by the construction of this tunnel so similarly you can go to the effective stresses you can check the effective stresses here the effective stresses values and uh, if you vertically so you can check these uh, values as well uh, stresses effective stresses then you can check the uh, bending moment and axial forces as well so this is how we can model or analyze the settlement caused by the construction of the tunnel so i hope this video will be useful for that so please don't forget to subscribe the channel uh, so that uh, we'll be coming with some new videos uh, so please uh, again don't uh, download the video try to watch it online it's a it will be useful so thank you